Here's information that you can put in after the author. So let's look at this example here. Hugh, comma, Manuel. So Hugh is the last name, Manuel is the first name. Kiss of the Spider Woman. So that's the book name. Translated by Thomas Kolke. And first name first, last name last. This is the translator, comma. The publishing company is Vintage Books and the year is 1991. So that's pretty straightforward. Joyce, Mitch, Michelle, Michelle Joyce. So yeah, Joyce is the last name, Michelle is the first name. Other mindedness, the emergence of network culture. University of Michigan Press, 2000. Actually, this here should also be italicized. The Emergence of Network Culture. So this is the name of a book, and it's from University of Michigan. P, what, what does P mean? Press. That is one of the abbreviations MLA allows you to use. How about the title here? We have some title uh, capitalization problems, and this is always very confusing. And it's important to remember that when you get your article, you can look at the actual PDF or the actual paper and look at the way the title is, is capitalized right there. That's the way you should follow. That's the way that's correct. Be careful when you're grabbing information from a database again, or you're just downloading information, putting it into Zotero or, or EndNote. Lots of times that capitalization gets lost and you're left with no capital or all capital. Sometimes I've downloaded papers, put them in the database, and it's all capital, which is clearly quite wrong. You need to look at it firsthand and think about it. But let's go ahead with some general rules we can use for capitalization. That is, if I don't have the original paper right in front of me, or I'm just looking over quickly my reference list, what is the rule for this? Well, we can use the MLA some general rules. The first word in a title and the last word in a title should be capitalized. The principal words, that is the key words, including words that follow hy hyphens. That is, if you have a word that has a hyphen in it, you can all, you also go ahead and capitalize that. So if I was to say something like, dark hyphen light. Why do I put these words together? I don't know, maybe my research has dark light in it. Well, here I have capital D, then here I should also have capital L. That's this idea of capitalization after hyphens. If the word D was capitalized, if the word D was not capitalized, then in that case you would not capitalize the L. You keep it the same. So those are kind of a general rule of thumb. First word, last word, and principal words.